background. Yep, that's all aligned perfectly fine. Okay. Right. So, let us boot up Aurora. Do, 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 do. Right. So, today we could be playing a pre-existing game of Aurora that I've played a little bit in my spare time. Or. Or, we could start a new one. Maybe we'll start a new one with, like, transutonian technology, so we start a little bit ahead. But it still takes a few hours to really explore through the solar system. So, I did a poll over on Twitter. And let me just go find out what the results of that poll are, because currently it looks like it's almost 50-50. I haven't refreshed that page in a while, though, so I will need to go check. The results of the poll are... Ready to roll 51%, start from scratch 49 I'm going to give you a few more minutes to be able to get in on that poll. I think the mods are spamming it in chat. Pre-existing, new, pre-existing, new, continue. Pre-existing, pre-existing. There are quite a few pre-existing at the moment. Yeah, in this save I have done some combat, but I think the combat was against basically a, a precursor ship that had been left out or something. Like, I couldn't see an alien race, so I killed it. But we're, we're just starting to explore the local cluster. But yeah, if you want to... I've seen a lot of people have um, very vehement ideas about which we should go for. So yeah, go to that Twitter poll. And it's literally 50-50 at the moment. So every single vote will count. It's not literally 50-50. It's 49-51 while I'm looking at it. But still, you know, that's pretty much almost 50-50. It's practically 50-50. That's the word. Not literally. How long will this be for? Uh, we'll be doing this for about um, just under three hours from now. And then we'll play a bit of uh, multiplayer Attack on Titan. I will send out the code to Patreons and to subscribers um, in uh, probably in the next break. So, you know, about an hour. Oh, you need, you need to have a Twitter to vote, don't you? Ah, so that's the one down, downside about Twitter polls. You need to be Twitter to vote. Well, you know, I understand why. So it's stop me spamming, but... Hmm. Um. Yeah, I did see all the uh, the backstories posted on the uh, first video. I really like them. I just haven't had a chance to comment on them because uh, we've been really diving in a lot of mechanics recently in the videos. I will try and remember to comment on them, but I really did like them. I'll try and bring back up. But I couldn't pick one that was my favourite. There's a load of good ones. They really were. Right. Let's see if this poll's updated. It's still 49.51. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the ready to roll start. Which I have already done a little bit of. The Terran Empire. So the Terran Empire um, basically started with Transnewtonian in the solar system, the, you know, the Sol solar system, and with like 40k universe ship names and people names. Um, it's pretty normal. No fancy differences in the start. It did start with an alien race already spawned, I just haven't met them yet. Yeah, I knew I didn't have to scrap and kill them now. Um, I learned that a few little while over the episode, but oh well. And if we pop up, boop. This is the current state of the solar system. Pavel took $5. I don't know if you noticed it, but you can go to the race tab and you can... Uh, damn it, where did it go? I don't know. Um, uh, my tip thing up. Um, stream tip. There we go. But you can go to the race tab and pick your Empire's flag, picture, ship avatar, and even anthem. Make sure you do it for your Let's Play. Uh, yes, you can. If you go to... Boop. Ta-da! 
Unfortunately, for the, like, races and stuff, there's no, like, decent human ones that I wanted to pick. Like, there are a couple of reasonable human ones, but I was a bit like, meh. I don't know what I'd do for our, our YouTube series, because it's based around the Elysian Empire, so I'd need, like, a picture of the Elysian Empire. Like, people from it, which would just be, like, me, maybe standing with a sword or something. I have no idea. But I put my flag in. I've got the flag. The flag of the Elysian Empire. Turn down the tip music. Oh, the tip music was crazy loud. This is why, like, I don't have my headset on, and if I turn my headset on, I will be deafened. And of course, it's out of battery, because why else would it? I gotta admit, Steel Series devices, I like them, but they're not at the most durable things in the world. Just proved by the fact I can't even turn it on right now. At all. There we go. Yes, but yeah, Pavel, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'll try and remember to do that. Thank you very much for the tip. It's very kind of you. The tip for a tip. Get a picture of Miss Carson Rax, Mace with his mace. Yes, that would be a good idea. Is that a new race called Twitch? Where does it leave? Extreme conditions. But yeah, you can also select your hull type, so I've got like... No, he has Borg Cube. I've gone for like the little Star Destroyer. I was hoping to find like a Battlefleet Gothic type ship, but couldn't find one. Um, if we close that, and I'll show you the galactic map so far. So I looked at all the jump points from the Sol system. Unfortunately, uh, none of them had alien races to fight. There was one ship which I blew up after it blew up my exploring vessel. Like my exploration vessel got killed and I was very sad. Let me just uh, check the poll again, because people want me to do a new start. I will, but it depends on that poll. Now, ready to roll is still 51%, so yeah, that's what we're going to roll with. Boop. This is a game that you need good intent to read. Yeah, unfortunately, this game is probably only readable on people on, like, medium quality or better. Which kind of sucks. I will try and put the VOD up on Extra Elysium, so those of you who want to watch it on a VOD format can do so there. Oh, you can also watch it in the Twitch backlog, but... Which is terrible service, so. But yeah. Um, this one, I've gone a slightly different method. Uh, if we go back to... You can see that... If I go to the... Industry screen? For some reason, sorry. Here we go. So you can see that on Earth, we've got a billion people. Luna, we've got... Just shy of 30 million. We've got a load of auto mines, but we've got no other colonies. And the reason for that is when I rolled uh, the resources up for the system generation. This is what I got. So you can see if we have a look at, like, options, uh, minerals only. You can see Earth, like, a really good source of geranium. Don't get me wrong, really appreciate the geranium. But if we look at, like, Mars, 0.6 availability Gerantium, nothing else really to worry about because they're all 0.1s. And if we look down, like, any of the decent planets, like, if we have a look at Io, which is, yeah, it's not even, it doesn't have any resources. In terms of things that are colonizable, nothing in the system that's colonizable is of particular interest to me in terms of, like, actual resources. If, if we have a look, like, these, you can see very little of anything. This one is probably the closest to being colonizable, but even then the gravity is lo too low to actually be colonizable. I think you need the gravity of 0.1 or higher. Um, so yeah, like we, we're now like, well, colonizing in the, the soul system is just for people. It's not for actually like mining. Sadly. Uh, if you can't see some options at the bottom of the game, by the way, you might need a reduced sized version. Um, I can't remember what the limit is, but it's something like you need a like 960 tool screen to play the normal one. Um, and then for the reduced sized one, it's like 800 or ish. Can't remember exactly. Uh, 
Uh, so I've, I've started doing a lot of mining, and instead of like just sending auto miners out, like our auto mines, I've actually set up a load of, um, let me just show you the class. Boop. Oberon. Asteroid miner, weighing 100,000 tons! Uh, it moves pretty slow, but the reason for that is it just goes into orbit. And then, where's the number of asteroid miners? Does, there we go, asteroid miners. 15 asteroid module, uh, asteroid mining modules attached. Basically, it pretends like it's got 15 mines, and we'll just mine. Now, it doesn't take the cargo, like the stuff on board. It doesn't go like, minerals, ah, chuck them in the cargo hold. What it does is it goes, ah, minerals, and dumps them on the planet's surface. Which means that if you put a mass driver on the thing, mass driver will just keep shooting them out without having to build auto mines. And auto mines are annoyingly, like, difficult to build. Like, they take a very long time. Uh, one thing you can do is turn normal mines into auto mines, but then I wouldn't have the normal mines on planet Earth, and planet Earth actually has a decent amount of durantium, so I don't want to get rid of those mines. You see, dilemma. Nom, nom, nom. Right. Now, uh, by the way, if you're going to download it, I would recommend you download the all-in-one... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. The wrapper? Yeah. Because that sorts a lot of the fiddly stuff for you. Um... The one server system I will say of BB of interest would be Lakal. Because you notice here that we have some jump points. I've also set some jump gates, by the way. You see these orange squares mean it's a friendly jump gate that I put down. We got attacked by this. Wreck of Aggressor class. This killed one of my explorers. And then went in and killed it with missiles. Which was fairly easy. Um, but... There is an alien race out there. Now, I don't know anything about them. I even tried to talk to them. I was diplomatic. Um... Intelligence. There we go. These guys. I was diplomatic. I sent a diplomacy team. I was like, mate, you want to be friends? And they were like, nah, man. I've got, I've got stuff to do. Like, blowing you up. So... I killed them. They died. I was happy. But I have just built a new ship that's going to go and grab that. Now, I have no idea how salvaging actually works. I, I tried to be diplomatic, and they were like, we can't really establish contact. They're too alien for us. So, you know, I blew them up. Um, but yeah, we're sending a ship that should be able to salvage their ship. And by salvaging it, hopefully we can get new tech. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I know you can salvage stuff. You'll get components. You take components to your home place, and then somehow you can look at these components. So we're going to have a little go at that. Nuke them all. Yeah, that's pretty much what we did. Uh, we fired a load of uh, nukes at them. It was great. So what we might do in this uh, little few hours we've got is we might just have an aggressive look through some uh, jump points. Because currently, as you can see, if I go back to Sol... I have one, two, three jump gates I've set up myself. Proximity Century has an alien jump gate, which the precursor set up. Uh, but we've actually got basically no one surrounding us. We've actually just got a load of spare systems. I mean, the systems aren't great in terms of the resources there. There wasn't anywhere particularly habitable. There were some places I could take the entire atmosphere away and add our own. But they weren't worth it in terms of resources. They were like, they're not bad in terms of resources, but they're not great. They're not worth the effort. I'm also trying a few new things. So, in terms of terraforming, as you've seen on the YouTube series, you can set up terraforming bases and have people man them and then terraform the planet. Or, you can do what I've just done. Spend three years building an orbital habitat. This orbital habitat has engines. The orbital habitat weighs about a million tons. Let me just go find it for you, actually. I can't remember how much it weighs. Uh, terraforming base. Yeah, uh, 1.4 million tons. With a crew, 4,500. It has 40 terraforming modules. Forty terraforming modules. This thing flies around, gets into orbit, and then terraforms. And terraforms pretty quick. It's got 40 terraforming modules, for God's sake. It's pretty fast at the terraforming, right? Pretty good. Currently, I've got it in orbit of the moon, giving it an atmosphere. Because I was like, well, you know, nowhere here is really worth it for mining. So I might as well set up a colony. The closest thing is the moon. I'll set it up there. It's not immobile, actually, uh, Flopsy Doodle. It just needs a lot of engines. And really efficient engines at that. 
Uh, you could have made a few a huge tug to pull the habitat. Uh, Mighty Rick, yeah, I could have done. But the thing is, um, there would need to be a huge tug. And frankly, that would have been built at a shipyard. Whereas this is built just using industry from the planet. And I just give it a crap load of really efficient engines. It goes very slow. It'll take like a year to get somewhere. But that's fine. Like, it goes 201 kilometers per second. That's pretty slow. Um, what else? What else? What else? It's got a million liters of fuel. And only a range of that much. Now, that's not crazy far. That's probably enough to get around the solar system. But it's not enough to jump to another solar system and go in system if it's particularly far. So, it's something you have to probably pair it with a tanker. And it will take it a lot of years to do that. But it's fine. I mean, if I want to target, I can. What have we just done? We've done some maintenance failures on my survey ship. Um, research completed into max drive power modification. Let's have a look what there is in terms of research. I just can remember where the, uh, the camera is so that I don't like put stuff over there. Okay, I've got all my research labs working. Now, the one system I'm currently finishing off before we start looking into other systems is this one? No, not this one. Which one is it? Oh, it's Tau Senti? Nope, Tau Senti's fine. Interesting. Where is my gravitational survey ship then? Gravitational survey ship. Um, OOB, what's that do? Open the racial order of the battle? No. System map. Oh, it is Tau Senti, yeah. So we're currently working around Tau Senti, doing the last of the jump points there. So we'll let it finish off those jump points, and then uh, we should be able to take it home through the jump gate. The red one. That deployment time, I heard Jesus is insane. Won't the crew be dead by then? The red one. They'll have had babies and stuff. It's fine. It's a multi-generational ship. Uh, another failure in gravity sensors. Let's just check how long you've been out. 1.33 years. You'll be fine. People are playing a role while watching mine. <laughs> Good plan. In the... Little wood fan. Hello, how are you? Now, you see it says Oberon. Oberon have completed orders. They're just going into orbit around, like, moons and asteroids and stuff. Now, the one thing I'm not sure about is if asteroid mining modules work on non-asteroids. Do they work on moons? Could you just mine a moon with them? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to try it out. Which is why I'm waiting at the moment while some of them are in orbit. And we'll find out. And have robots completed orders? Go 30 days at a time and just be able to speed this up. Because once we've surveyed all the jump points here, we can go to a new system. Okay. Um, the Safeguard 001, that's our salvage ship. Salvage of aggressor class completed. Mineral salvage, not much. One time Stellarator fusion reactor technology. Salvage from wreck of the... Okay, we need that back. That's a step... A Stellarator Fusion Reactor Technology. That's something to step up from what we've got at the moment. Uh, points for electronic countermeasures gained. And evidence for electronic countermeasures gained. Okay. Let me just double check that our research is... Crown Propulsion. Manic Confinement. I think Stellarator's after this one. It must be after this one. We need to bring that back. I want the research from that. Right. 
Um, jump back to the solar system. Go to Earth. Uh, refuel, resupply. Unload all minerals. Now, how do I dump the components? Load lab research components. Oh, that's a research lab components. Um, unload ship component. Aha! There we go. We should be able to then search that. Why are there suddenly cookies in space? Oh, Miss Carson can't reach her biscuits. For shame. Okay. Are you back in the soul system? There we go, the safeguard's coming back. You tried to escape. Um. A new jump point in the Tau Senti system. Um, we've got quite a lot of civilian ships, by the way, because I thoroughly subsidized this company. I gave them like 10,000 bucks at the beginning of the game. And they built a lot of stuff. It's good to see our racial wealth is actually going up now, though. Um, we'll go 30 days. Get the safeguard home. <laughs> Alright, safeguards completed orders, which means that we actually have Stellarator fusion reactor. Now let's just double check if it appears under power and propulsion. No. Okay. Industry. Okay. Somewhere here, we have the ability to look at a Stellarator fusion reactor. Now I've got to find out where it is. Because I really want to look at a Stellarator fusion reactor. That sounds amazing. Not here. Now, I'd assumed it would have been like under stockpiles, top right. Stockpiles, top right. Aha! And I assume I have to click disassemble. Disassemble is small chance to gain knowledge of the background technology. Thank you very much, Jedi Miner. Dissemble one type of this component in order to gain a small chance of knowledge of the background technology. Dissemble. We tried. We tried. Damn. Oh well. Um, how are we doing in Tal Senti? Because once we've done that, I want to be able to go and have a little bit of a poke around. We've got five ones left. I might upgrade the uh, Etnunkhead Center at some point, make it a bit faster at this. Yeah. Uh, now, one thing I have to worry about, by the way, is I can't remember if I reloaded one of my task groups. Uh, the Battlefleet Alpha. Did you reload? Earth. Load ordnance from Colony. <laughs> I 
Okay, a lot of people changing over. Bye, Jonathan Moon. Hopefully we'll get these last few points, and then we'll decide where we're going to go to explore next. G.I. Joe's, it's the same universe, as in it is the realistic named universe from what we can see from Earth, but it's a completely different save. Um, basically, I don't want to be able to spoil YouTube stuff, so... No, we've researched faster shipyard operation and saving. I do want to crack out this terraform if I can. Now, one thing I have been massively hobbled by is look at the number of biology genetics people I have. Then look at the number of, like, construction production people I have and the power and propulsion. Construction production especially, I've got, like, one person. Really, really hobbled me. Terraform rate should be done. Uh, but yeah. Can I make um, Miss Castle on Government Earth so we can benefit from the tea consumption rate she has? That's tempting. Tea consumption rate is an important economic factor. Just ask, ask China in the 19th century. Uh, Alright. Yeah, we do need to have a quick look because I actually haven't spent a lot of time looking for... Governor of Earth, I, I I have to admit, I haven't spent a lot of time doing civilian administrators, and I feel like I've missed out quite a lot. We don't even have a Governor of Earth. Okay, uh... Factory production bonus, probably. 30%. And then a 15, and a terraforming bonus. Ah, uh, but the terraforming bonus. But then again... We're not going to be terraforming anyway with a mining bonus. A oh, governor of Earth needs to be at least a rank 5. There's only one choice then. It has to be you because you're the only rank 5 I've got for governor of Earth. Okay, assign. Uh, 50 year old male, and you want to be renamed. There we go. Uh, and let's do some other people in charge. So. Um, basically, these are just me mining production bonuses, right? Assign. Assign. Sign. 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 Ah, uh, Governor Loon is separate because there's no minerals there. Now, I'm just doing this very rough and ready because, like, honestly, I don't really mind. Mad Appetit, $30. E, keep up the great work. Wear a Hellboy hat and Evie with the fedora. Ow! Sorry about that. I will turn that down. <laughs> that was painful. Uh, Mad Hatter, thank you very much for the tip. $30. Wow. Okay, yeah. I will I will wear the cowboy hat. This is what happens when I wear a headset. I need to switch over the headset. Let me just switch over the headset. I'm going to switch to, like, speakers anyway. It's more fun with speakers. Where are speakers? Where is the thing that does speakers? I have no idea.
Okay, that might work now. There we go. Let me switch it over in uh, OBS. <laughs> 